What's up? It's Matt from Three Pound Fishing, and me and my buddy Wade are headed down to Grizzly Jig Show. I think it's the 16th annual. We think it's the 16th annual. We're gonna find it out. We're gonna find out. <laughs> Longest lasting crappie show, largest crappie show in the nation. Without a doubt, the best. Exciting. Yeah, we're gonna always, always, man. Always like freak out. <laughs> you see all this stuff. You freak out? My, wife, my wife freaks out whenever I go. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we appreciate you joining us. We're ready. Ready? I'm always ready. He's always ready. Hey folks, thanks for joining me. Please subscribe. And today we talk to a ton of industry leaders. We get to learn about new products. And by golly, we get to go to Grizzly Jig 2019 Tackle Show. It's a fantastic event. Pound Fishing. If your passion is crappie fishing, you found your home. Sponsored by these great companies. All right, we made it. We've got a lot of cars. It's pretty busy. We're gonna check out the the boats they have out here first to start off with. How you doing? You think Wade will get a new boat? He don't need no new boat. Now this is awesome. The best trolley motor ever. Man, that's a sweet paint job. I don't even know if that's a paint job or what that is, but it looks like that hook design, that graphic that you get, that cryptic graphic is what it's called, so. All right, for those that haven't been to Grizzly Jig, that's what it looks like right there. It's pretty simple. But I'll tell you what, they got more stuff in there than you'll ever see anywhere else. Just an awesome sight. Let's go. Owner Grizzly J, right here, Wade. How we doing today? Great, great, great. Got a full house. Everybody's having a big time. Seminars everywhere. How many years has this been going on? Uh, we've been officially doing it about 17 years. We did it a couple years on a small scale before we actually started calling it the Tackle Show. Sweet, and it's going great. I take it. Yes, lots yes. of people. Lots here. of people. Everybody's having fun. We got. Sam Heaton, Wally Marshall, Mr. Crappie, Big T in the back. Oh, there's all kind of great stuff going on here. As you can see, everybody, we got pros helping everybody out. And over here in another room, we'll go in there and check out some seminars going on. Let's go. We gotta be real quiet. But we're having a big time. We got poles, we got jigs, all the top guys in crappie fishing are here. We got Sam Heaton over there hiding out, Steve Coleman, Russ Bailey. We got our dude right here, let's do it. Even got Todd Huckabee kind of sneaking around like a snake. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, we got a lot going on uh, in the jig room, the boat seat room, the pole room. Come on out and see us. I'll be here with Matt, three pound fishing. Let's do it. Thanks, now, when you're at Grizzly Jig, you are going to be taken back by the amount of products and different companies that are represented here. I mean, we're talking industry leaders. We're talking about products that you wouldn't have even thought about. But at the end of the day, everybody in this building are crappie fanatics. And I love getting together with just a ton of them all in one spot. There's, there's no introduction needed. Wally Marshall, Mr. Crappie, here we go. Hey everybody, Wally Marshall right here at Grizzly Jigs. Man, this place is packed out. We're talking about we can't even hardly get up and down the aisle, especially with us standing here. But I want to show you a brand new product we just came up with this year. It's called the Add a Hook. And what it is, it's actually a staging and you can put several on your line if you're double rigging, etc. 
And so you just walk right up here, and then you just wrap your line around there about five or six times, pull it up in the clip, pull that back like that a little bit. Let me get it out of the way. Then you go five times on this side, boom. You got your stage in there, and it will not slide. Will not pull through there. And you can put you another one right down here and put your weight on the end. You can tie this rig in about 30 seconds. It's called the new Atta Hook by Bullet Weight. That's awesome. Also, we have the brand new uh, power trolling weights, uh, double swiveled weights by Bullet Weight. And we got them from 3 8 up to 3 ounces with double swivels. For you guys that's doing the power trolling, check us out at Bullet Weight on the uh, double swivel power trollers. But I'm telling you, if you don't like to tie knots, or if you don't like to sit up all night tying rigs for the next day, you got to go with the add a hook, man. We're talking about this is this saves a lot of time. Even the saltwater guys are saying, man, I don't have to tie rigs all night long when I can just tie them in the boat and it takes seconds. So check us out again. Bullet weight, Mr. Crappie, add a hook. So just like that, you're walking around, you're walking into Wally Marshall, and here shortly we're going to talk to Big T from Jinko Fishing. But folks, they got more than just jigs. They've got the hooks, they've got the floats, they got the, you name it. If it's crappie related, they've got it, and it's just a great store. So even if you don't make it down this year, you didn't make it down this year, without a doubt, find time to get to Carothersville, Missouri. Hey, I'm here with Tony Shepard, Big T from Jinko Fishing. How you doing, man? Pretty good, man. How are you? Doing good. Hey, tell us what's new for 2019. This is the French fry. It's a hybrid tube. It's like your traditional tube, except it's got flukes cut in it, like it's on my mermaid and my curly fry, which is new this year. It's got tons of action. I really like using this bait tipping with minnows. These are new colors or are these just different new shapes? We've got two new shapes and then I'll show you the four colors. Okay, cool. That's our new curly fry. It's got the flukes in the sides just like the other one. About point three, they'll start turning. The tails will start turning. You can long line them behind the boat. My own iron, not they won't flatten out. Check that out, folks. See it? Awesome. That's nice. Now these are garlic infused too as well? Garlic and bait fish. Both. Okay. Okay, got you. A little That's what makes Jinko fishing right. baits like that's kind of special. Yeah. yeah. And you know, I tell everybody to keep them in this package because yeah. it keeps the scent concealed into it. Right. And the scent's not just sprayed into the bag, it's right. actually cooked into the plastic. So if you fish with it for an hour and it's not smelling, just rub the friction of your fingers. It'll actually draw the scent back out and make it so. These are the four new colors: June bug, fire and ice. Candy apple red chartreuse and blue ice chartreuse. And we also have the same slasher jig head that we had last year. We come out with a bladed one, got a silver willow leaf blade on it, a light wire sickle hook number two. They come from 32nd. Eight, sixteenth, and a quarter. And these are also infused with the garlic and, and bait fish. Yes, all of my baits has the garlic and bait fish. Very nice. Check it out, folks. You'll be seeing it. Very nice. Why is it the French fry your favorite? I just like the profile. It's got the forked tail. It's got good action. Yeah, I think it mimics a minnow or a bait fish a lot in the water. So when you're tail. trolling, spider rigging, are you using this particular yes. bait? Yes. Yes. 90% of the time, that's what I use. If I'm tipping with the minnow, I use Every the time. French fry because it's got the little tentacles and the minnow lays in between it. Where if you tip this with the minnow, the minnow's just going to lay against that tail gotcha. and not have just a lot of action. So that's why I like the French fry for tipping with minnows. Wow. Do you mind showing us the net back there? No. This is our net. It weighs 17 ounces with this, with this net head on it. It's changeable net heads, unscrews. You can put the rubber net head on it. You can put a deep small hole or this one it's a preference I, I typically use this one most of the time if i'm pulling crankbaits i'll go to the 100 percent rubber one but most of the time i use this one it weighs uh, 17 to 19 ounces depending on what head you got on it it's a twist lock you can stop it at any, any position you want but it'll go out to 12 foot and it easily stores away in your rod lockers most bass boats it's a necessity yeah, I love the baskets. I, you know, I love the fact that my hooks aren't, get, aren't getting tangled up right. in them. Um, and you're saying this adds what kind of weight to that net? Two ounces. Two ounces. If you swap heads. Folks, I've done a couple videos on this net, and I'm telling you, number one in the industry, no doubt about it. It also has a little 
contour to the front scoop down to get your fish when you go underneath them. Yeah. So I love that feature that you can swap off the different, you know. Well, yeah. You have choices. Right, right. If you're pulling crankbaits, you can put this one on. If you're jig fishing, you can put this one on. Yeah. And a lot of people just use this one all the time. But to me, when you're catching big fish like in Grenada, it's a little little springy. So yeah. I like this one because it's like two inches deeper right. than that one. So if I'm catching really big fish, I feel more comfortable. We, we need one. that weight for, <laughs> for Grenada and Lake Washington. I never thought of that. Yeah. So, yeah, oh, you get a three-pounder in there and he bounces <laughs> against that rubber. He, he comes yeah. up and makes me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Big T. I appreciate it. No problem. Awesome. Morefield crappie right here. Share us what we got going on here for 2019. This is our pan optics mount to put the live view transducer on a Terova, Altera, XI5, any of those remote control trolling motors. We got a nice cable here, hose that opens up, put your cable inside of it. We got it so it won't pull out. If you get caught on something, you're not gonna pull it out and pull the wire out of the transducer. Wow. The transducer mounts right on here, gets it up off the trolling motor so you don't have any electrical interference problems. And you can run your cable for your transducer inside this hose, come out, go to your unit, safe, right. sturdy, ready to go. And then you've also got it for the 360 as well? This is a 360 mount for the Terova motor. And it, it sits right here. I don't have it tight because of the new motor. I didn't want to tighten it up on it. This tightens up. And right. what you do is you shove your 360 tube up through here. It clamps on there. Your wires come out. We can do Terova or the motor guide XI5. And what we do here is it goes in, and then this will go in and stow in and out with your trolling motor. So your 360's on the front, ready to go. Sweet. This is our original cable saver. When you went to put the down image on, you can't tie to the... The, the, the shaft here because right. of that right there right so we got again we got a split hose put your down image transducer on put your cable inside here comes up again clamp top and bottom won't pull out it keeps wow. your cable from getting destroyed destroy the cable you got to buy a new transducer <laughs> that's pretty neat stuff right there we talk about pan optics all the time right now on the channel it, 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 it's, it's very popular. Yeah. So yeah, it is. to see them put those on the... Uh, We're actually working on a couple other versions. I got a clamp that'll clamp on here so a guy can run 360 and then put your live view out in front of that. We clamp it onto our tube or clamp it onto a regular a regular 360. Wow. Check them out, folks. I'll leave the link in the description below. We didn't get an opportunity to talk about all the products that Cornfield Crappie Gear has, but let me tell you, rod holders rod storage just a ton of great products that i think we're going to be featuring in the future just a great company and certainly a very nice owner enjoyed spending some time with him lake jackson ozark rods right yep there you go they're here also a jig, grizzly jig you want to show us around and show us what you got new for yeah, 2019 we got uh i'll, I'll target in on one rod we've got new we've got our new uh new power trolling rod here and uh they carry it in the 12 14 and 16 and then um Coming in at the 1st of March, we'll have a brand new series of jigging rods out. 56.95. Cool. We got Pat from Erupt Fishing. Is it Erupt Fishing? It is Erupt Fishing. Erupt Fishing. Check this out, man. Go for it. So I built a device uh, here at Erupt Fishing called the Rod Threading Device, and basically does one thing. It threads your fishing rod efficiently. So you just put the line up against your fishing rod. And your rod is threaded, that easy. Or you can come down the fishing rod to bring line down the rim. So you no longer have to use your fingers, drop lines, miss guys. It's a product that works efficiently every single time. And how much does this cost? It's uh, $29.99. You can get it at www.erupfishing.com. And what's the process of getting your actual your, your line tied to that? All right. Well, so basically, uh, we have what's called a bobbin that's down the middle. Now, this bobbin has little bumps that's made of carbon fiber. And uh, so that's to make sure you don't scratch your guide. And we just put a, a real easy drop shot catch on the end. And all you have to do is get the line through there. You pull it through and pull down and it clinches. 
And then down the middle here is what we have called the, uh, this is called the module. It's like a bowling alley lane. And these are the eyes on your, and basically what it does is when it hits a fishing rod, it puts the unit in position to thread. And then we have here, uh, the arms are made with stainless steel springs and they go one way. And these are like your fingers. So basically when it's put together correctly, and the bobbin's loaded in, and I can show you what it does is it actually, when it hits the fishing rod, it threads it and threads the line through it. If you look from behind, it threads the line right through the fishing rod. Everybody, this is Wally Marshall, Mr. Crappie. I'm at three pound fishing. We're talking three pound crappie. Well, I caught a 280 this year that I was really proud of. And I actually caught it on this rod, the Wally Marshall WSM or WMSO, which is our new series of the uh, signature series, seven footer, and I call it my all day rod. Super light, great action. I'm telling you, it's light as a feather. So if you're looking for your wife a rod or you got a bad elbow or whatever and you can't use a heavy rod, I'm telling you this one right here is the bomb. And you'll be seeing it on Protein Journal on the Outdoor Channel at the end of January and the first week of February. So check us out on Protein Journal and also check out Grizzly Jigs right here in Carothersville, Missouri, 1-800-305. 9866 on 3 pound fishing. Well there you go. We just got done spending an awful lot of time at Grizzly Jig. A fantastic show. 16 years. That's unbelievable. A lot of people in there. A lot of people. There's no doubt there's a reason why they've been there for 16 years doing the same thing. I think Wade even said 17 years. Just a great show. Everything's there. Everybody's there. You learn a lot. I learned a lot. I thought, yeah. I, thought I knew everything. <laughs> yeah. You can never know everything. Impossible. Not in the crappie world, for sure. So hey, that's a great show. Hope you enjoyed the show. Please subscribe.